My name is Jeffrey McDonald. I'm a visiting expert in the South Asia program at the U.S. Institute of Peace and a senior advisor for the Asia Division at the International Republican Institute. And I'm here to talk about our research paper on conflict dynamics around the Rohingya refugee camps. In August of 2017, what we saw with the military action in Burma drove somewhere around 750,000 Rohingya Muslims out of Myanmar into Bangladesh. The initial reaction from the Bangladesh government, from citizens, was really overwhelmingly generous. They provided food, shelter, housing, and other forms of assistance. What our research was trying to see was where are we at now with public opinion in the host community. So we conducted a survey and focus groups with Bangladeshis that live around the camps. And what we found was a much darker picture. So 70% in our survey of Bangladeshis now say that their, their lives have worsened since the refugees have emerged. They've very much soured on continued assistance for the refugees. And what we see now is support for more harsh policies toward the refugees. So nearly 70% support the removal of the refugees back to Myanmar. And there are significant portions who support the, the movement or shift of these refugees to Basanchar, which is an island that many critics say is quite dangerous for them. Inside the camps, we're seeing growing organized crime, drug trafficking, human trafficking, right, that you see the refugees have been kind of compelled into a lot of this, either directly by these organized groups or indirectly, just through economic desperation. And many ordinary, ordinary refugees have been caught up in this, right? They've been injured or killed. Outside of the camps, you see growing fear, frustration, animosity among Bangladeshis toward the camps, which they view as a kind of fount of violence um, and criminality that's increasingly causing instability in their communities. One is making sure that there is plenty of, of aid going into the camps themselves, as well as into the host communities. Right? So we want to make sure that Bangladeshis are aware, right, particularly those living around the camps, that they are supported by the international community. Second, we think we should be supporting conflict resolution mechanisms in the camps and in the host communities. So empowering local actors to do things like peace messaging or community dialogues or cultural exchanges to build community relations between the, the, the both communities that we're, that we're seeing. Third, we think improving government responsiveness is key, right? So Bangladeshis are frustrated that the government is just simply not responding to their needs. So improving government responsiveness is key. And then finally, creating a camp policy that provides for the needs of the Rohingya, right? Because these, these two things are interconnected. If the refugees do not have adequate health care, income, food, safety, they're going to go out of the camps, right, in order to get those things. When they go out of the camps, they drive up frustration in the host community. So if you can improve conditions inside the camps, you can reduce frustration outside of them. Mm -hmm.